go on to do something, learn something, oh, you should be happy. Hi, Josh Yada here. Hope you are having a good year. I'm grateful that you are giving me some of your most precious time to see this new piece. In this video, I want to refresh you on how to update the BIOS of your computer. It's important to keep the BIOS up to date. It's the BIOS that activates all the components of your computer. Remember, for example, that you turn on the Trusted Platform module in the BIOS settings. TPM, Trusted Platform module, help to further make your computer secure. You see why it's important that the BIOS of your PC is up to date. Now, depending on the laptop you have, you may receive notification that there is a new BIOS update for your computer. If you don't get such update notification, you can just go and check on the website and you can update from, from there. The PC I'm using to do this demonstration is Dell Inspiron 5368-2-in-1. The first step is to turn off BitLocker. BitLocker is another step to secure your computer. If you have turned it on, please turn it off first before you update the BIOS. You either take a look at it through File Explorer, click File Explorer, click this PC, and under Devices and Drives, select local drive select the the drive of your pc right click it if you if you have turned on bitlocker you will see option to manage bitlocker i have turned bitlocker off and another way to check is go to settings select privacy and security select windows security and select device security once that is selected you will see core isolation security processor secure boot and data encryption under data encryption, you will see manage BitLocker drive encryption. Select that. See, it says Bit. It, it gives me option to turn on BitLocker. It says local drive C BitLocker off. See, because I turned it off. If you have it on, you will see suspend protection. Turn off. BitLocker and it will take up to like one to two hours before it's turned off. Please, it's important before you update the BIOS of your computer. So that's first step. The next step is to go to the website of the brand of your laptop. Again, for me, is Dell. So I have to go to dell.com slash support. Here, if you know the service tag or serial number or service request model, or keyword of your PC, enter it here to search for it. But typically, if you go to the website of the brand of your laptop, it will automatically de detect the type of PC you have, which it did for me here. It says, or you can just sign in. 
here it says which product can we help you with it says this pc you see you see it says inspiron 13 53 68 2 in 1 you either click this or click the laptop symbol any one icon i mean any one you click is okay so let's click the icon once here once you are here select drivers and downloads then go down here you will see find drivers on the right click the disclosure arrow here now first you will see operating system even though you have windows 11 if you click the disclosure arrow is the only option you have so leave it as it is leave it as windows 10 64 bit the disclosure arrow under download type and select system bios see it says dell in this bios update that was released may 7 2021 is for Dell Inspiron 5368, 5568736875697788 system BIOS. If your Dell is any of this model, select this and click download. Now, before you download, make sure that you updated your BIOS before May 2021. Don't just update from maybe 2014, 2010, 2007, 2019. Don't just update to the latest. Update to the nearest year. After that, update to the nearest then update to the latest. Don't upgrade from the old and straight to the latest. I tried, this is important too. So I already updated the latest before May 2021. So I just hit download. I can open it from here or I hit, I click File Explorer and on that download I will just open it. But let's open from here. So click Open. Say Yes. This is important to note. He said this utility will update the system BIOS and firmware. During the update procedure, your system will restart. Before you continue, close all open documents and exit all running applications. Do not interrupt this procedure once it begins. Do not disconnect the AC power source. If you are updating a mobile computer, connect the AC power source. Interruption of the BIOS firmware update procedure will likely render your system unusable. So make sure the power source is connected to power before you update the BIOS. So let's select OK. It shows you what will be updated. It says system BIOS will 
BIOS guard and all that. These are what will be updated. So we click OK and wait. hi welcome back sorry as i updated the the bios the computer restarted so the camtasia recording i was doing was cut off i'm doing this recording to verify if the bios successfully updated or not and how we do it is press the windows logo key and and later R on your keyboard, Windows logo key and R. This will show. Then type MS info 32. Hit enter or OK. It will show you the system summary. So scroll to move your cursor to bios version slash date it says dell and it gives the version of the bios as 1.23.1 see it and the release date of the bios that was installed was may 6 2021 now let's go to Dell website and verify this. So we hit dell.com slash support. Again, you should automatically spot your your model or you can just sign in or search with serial model number or service tag but it's trying to identify so it has identified this pc we either click the icon or the the model number so we just click this While here, we select drivers and downloads. Then, find drivers. We click the disclosure arrow. We leave operating system as Windows 10 64-bit. Here, on that download type, we click the disclosure arrow and select system BIOS. Then we'll go. So here it shows May 7, 2021, but on our system, it shows may 6 2021 so it's okay it shows it successfully updated the bios now before you even update the bios just press the windows logo key and r and check the the version of your bios and the release date before you go to the website to update it Hope this helps you to keep your BIOS and your system up to date and more secure. I sincerely thank you for your time. See you in another such helpful informational video. Please subscribe, give suggestions, give feedback. Thank you once again. You've got God, you've got God, I've got God, I've got God. We should be happier, you're gonna learn something, read something, you should.